So in our second technical presentation, we're going to look at key cloning. In our first technical presentation, we went through the procedures for programming a key into a vehicle using a diagnostic tester. Key programming enables us to program keys where all, key, uh, all keys are lost or where we need to delete keys. But the process of key cloning is that we are producing a direct replica from one existing key. So where I have uh, one key for the vehicle, I can produce a clone and it is identical in all types to the first key. Now there are various methods of carrying out this process and various keys that we can clone onto. The equipment that I need to use is a key cloning tool such as this and this enables me to read the information from the key and also produce a copy. Now the vehicle we're going to do is a Ford Focus with a uh, Texas Crypto 4D transponder. The original key is a Ford key, a Tibby Cut key with a remote. Now we can copy this key onto various different makes of keys. I have some examples here. The first one is a battery head key and this key clips together and is able to be copied uh, from the original and hold the memory of the key. However, in this particular one we cannot use a, a remote because the head of the key is used up with the electronics. This is um, the same with this particular key, which again is a similar Tibby key, different manufacturer, but again we cannot use the remote. In the latest types of cloning, we can now actually clone onto a single glass transponder. This is a special tr uh, cloning transponder, but it enables us to be able to put the transponder into an ordinary Ford remote and it slides into the plastic housing there and you can see the transponder is already inserted in, in this particular one. And then this will clip together into a traditional Ford uh, horseshoe. So if I take my first vehicle key, this is the key that the customer already has, and they can come to uh, your shop or your garage and ask for an original uh, or an additional key to be made for this, for this vehicle. It's good policy to obviously check when somebody brings a key to you that they are actually the owner of the vehicle. Um, maybe you would want them to produce the V5 form to enable you to be sure that um, that they should have this, this uh, copy key. The process of copying this key uh, is, is very simple. We enter the key into the antennae of the key cloning tool and select on the menu copy key. Once we've got copy key we press enter and it will then ask you to press R for read. The tester will then go through a process of identifying the transponder and as I said earlier it has come up with a Texas crypto transponder and also tells me on the screen that this key is able to be copied because it shows me the symbol of WR. The tester will now request us to press W to copy this key. So by pressing W, I then have a choice of methods to program, or sorry, to copy this key, to make a clone of this key. We are using a, um, a module here called a TPX cloner. There are various different methods uh, to actually work out the secret code or the code of this particular key. We can use the internet and connect the, 
the tester direct to the internet. We can use a separate box or alternatively we can have it built into the main um, body of the, of the tester. So there's various ways we can do that. On the screen I'm going to select TPX Cloner which is this particular box and press enter and this will now communicate with our module and then calculate the information from the key. My tester has now carried out the calculation and I have on the screen the code for this particular um, car key. Now I need to select which style of key or transponder that um, I showed you earlier, either the battery head or the separate transponder. On this particular application, we're going to use the separate transponder because this customer wants a remote key uh, to enable them to be able to operate the central locking and start the car. So I remove the customer's key and put in my blank key and press W for copying. On my screen it now shows me a screen that says uh, writing and then verifying and those bleeps uh, tell me that the key has been cloned. I can now um, see the information displayed on the screen to make sure it is correct as uh, the same as the first key. And the tester will now give me an option to whether I want to program a second key. In this particular instance we don't want a second key so the process is complete and I can escape out of that screen and the process uh, as I said is now complete and these two keys will now both start our vehicle. Okay so now we um, have cloned our keys we just want to make sure that they start the customer's vehicle. So the first key that the customer brought in starts and runs the car and now with our cloned key that too starts the car so we now have two keys from the original one that the customer came in with. The last procedure we need to carry out is to program the remotes. On this particular car, the Ford Focus, the remotes are a manual process and the process is to switch the ignition on and off quickly four times and we will get a bleep from the car to tell us that it's in programming procedure. I quickly follow that by pressing the lock button on each remote and that will again give me a bleep to say that that remote has been stored into the memory. The carrying out this process will delete all existing remotes, so it's important that you program all remotes in at the same time. So using either key, switch the ignition on and off four times, and there's our bleep. Quickly followed by pressing the lock button, one bleep for this one, and a bleep for this one. So we now have the two programmed remotes. I just switch the ignition on and off to take the vehicle out of programming procedure and then I can check the operation of my remotes. Is lock and unlock and my second key lock and unlock. So we now have two keys uh, programmed into the vehicle to start the car and to operate the central door locking. So this concludes our second presentation, this one on key cloning. Uh, and if you'd like more information, please go to the website linked to this page. And uh, can I thank you for watching.